Hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Um, I want to tell you a story. Um, before I go on about the story, here's the sh extremely short version. I'm on Geodon and Lamictal, and the drugs are way too, the, the, the dosage is way too high and it's causing problems. Boom. But that's not the story. That's just that that's just a description of my medical condition. Um what happened is I guess it I guess I'd go if we wanna go back with the meds, go back about a year, year and a half. Um at the time things were really messed up for me psych wise and physically. Um I was having these just I was cycling between psych issues between extreme anxiety um, then move on to sleep deprivation then I'd move on to psychosis then then by then um, you know m m wide open mania and then a mixed state and you know everything but deep dark, dark depression and I would tell um my psychiatrist, you know, hey, I'm having problems, you know, I'm having all these problems that is described, plus, you know, when I take my pills, I, I'm juke jiving and, you know, bouncing around because the anesthesia, and also I'm having not suicidal ideation, not suicidal thoughts, I'm having suicidal compulsions. I mean, it, it's everything, and it's everything I can do to, you know, he goes, not to not do it. He goes, well, we could put you in the hospital. I go, it only lasts as long as the Seroquel does. Um, and he goes, well, you know, sounds like you got a problem with the Vicodin and the morphine. You need to talk to your oncology people. Uh, by the way, I've got a um, nerve tumor in my pelvis, about the size of a 12 ounce can of Coke. They can't cut out of me or irradiate. So they gave me a big old bottle of pain pills and said, here you go, leave us alone, come back in a couple, in a year, every year, and we'll take a picture of it. So I went to them and they go, well, those are definitely psych issues. You need to talk to your psychiatrist about it because we don't do you know psychiatric services here. You know, then talk to my psychiatrist, and he goes, you know, normally I wouldn't treat anybody who's on your level of opiates. Now I tell them to dry out, then we'll see what we can do. You know, so they're, they're treating me like a tennis ball. In the meantime, you know, not just my health, you know, my sanity, you know, my life is on the line. And I do something that I, I haven't done or even contemplated doing in over 15 years, going on 20 years, I decided I've got to get off these pills. I don't know which ones are trying to kill me. I don't know which ones are helping. You know, I'm on a witch's brew of this shit. I go, and I'm not getting any help from these doctors. And I, 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 all I know is keep taking these pills the way I've been taking them is the wrong answer. So, sure enough, I, I go, okay, I'm not going to get off the Klonopin because that's just too much. I'll keep taking the Klonopin so I can sleep at night. Doesn't do anything for my anxiety, but I've been taking it so long that... So, the first thing I have to do is I have to kick a five-year habit of taking Vicodin, for, you know, every four hours. You know, 10 milligrams every four hours plus morphine. Um, that was a um, week, week and a half uh, spent in the bathroom, coming and going out both ends, just trying to stay hydrated. And then, when I could least afford it, another two months of um, just terrible sleep. And then I decided, okay, the Seroquel's got to go. Every, I, 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 every night, when it comes time to take it, I dread taking it because I know it's going to 
cause the shortness of breath, you know, um, restless leg, it's going to rack me, it's going to fill me to near panic attack. And that'll last from three to five hours. And and then I, I cut out every I cut down everything else. And so over a three month process, almost four months, with no one giving a rat's ass about what was happening to me. I got off of everything except, you know, just enough Klonopin to keep me sleeping because I didn't feel like kicking Klonopin back to back with going cold turkey off of, um, you know, opiates and the rest of my psych meds. So then I decide, you know, I don't need to swap on a just because they're not doing anything anyway. I'm not taking their pills. So, you know, I started getting third and fourth referrals to see if anybody could cut this thing out of me and um, then I decided well I'm not on psych meds right now anyway so I might as well go doc shopping and you know if you know anything it seems like you're always having to change doctors at the worst possible time and when you're having just multiple heavy-duty psych issues and you're not taking pills that's the worst time now, the, the main reason I wanted to stop taking the pills is I wanted a baseline because everybody kept saying the same thing. The only thing any of them agreed on is we have no idea which pills are causing this and which combination of them are feeding off each other. So I go through everything and I finally wind up with a doctor I like and a therapist I like and they work in tandem. And we try a little this, we try a little that. Um, at the time, I was going through a mixed episode. It was pretty nasty and it had been dragging on. And um, he goes, what about this any psychotic? I go, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Oh, I can't afford that one. It's not generic. Oh, oh don't, you know, that, 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 that's, that's, that's a non-starter. You know, I'd love to try it, but... You know, I can't afford to buy, you know, $180 of the stuff. It only take two weeks and then move on to the next $200 bottle of pills. I need to take something that that is hopefully low side effect and generic and that I haven't tried before but we might have success with. So we landed on Geodon Lamictal because I said I wanted to keep it simple. Um, you know, I hate to tell a doctor what to do, especially when I'm sick, new guy, I go, but we need to know what pills are doing what. So, it's, it, it, we did, we just did uh, Geodon, we did um, Lamictal and Klonopin. We increased my Klonopin so I could sleep a little bit more. It didn't help with sleep, but I think it did help with anxiety. And, um, we just, he, we slowly would crank up one drug at a time to see if it worked. And after we figure, after I figured out the dietary um, equation that goes with Geodon, you've got to eat exactly right at the exact right time for Geodon to work. Otherwise, otherwise it just passes straight through your system. So, and then the Lamictal, and and because of the, you know. Mixed episodes are dangerous, so we turned it up pretty high, and everything seemed to be, well, it wasn't getting any worse, and then it started getting better. And, um, and I was coming out the other end of this mixed episode, then all of a sudden I'm having just really fucked up sleep. Um, either it's not so much, I'm hardly sleeping at all, or if I am sleeping, it's really messed up, weird. Uh, twilight sleep where it's not going deep or the rim is all off and um, I'm having not, not suicidal ideation not suicidal thoughts but you know just intrusive thoughts about suicide over the smallest shit oh no I'm having a tooth pain oh no I'm going to have a tooth pulled oh kill myself I go, and as soon as you think it you go what you're going to kill yourself over a pulled tooth uh, folding towels on oh, this tip fat towel sure are threadbare I don't know what I'm gonna do I can't afford to replace all the towels kill yourself and 
I go, what? You're gonna kill yourself over this? Then, you know, car problems. Oh no, what am I gonna do? And also, I'm getting nice little graphic images going on. And then, I've just been discombobulated. Cannot think straight. I mean, no concentration, uh, no real problem solving skills. Uh, it's almost, I, I can't get anything started. I can't watch movies because they're too long and I can't follow them. Same deal with TV shows. You know, I can't read because cause I read the same paragraph three or four times. And I can barely follow along with an audio book. And those are ones I know and they're simple ones. Anything even remotely complex is just too much. And I get to doing, I know you're not supposed to research shit on Google because if you ask Google what's wrong with you, its answer is always the same thing. You have cancer, you're going to die, consult your healthcare professional. But I get to, I get to looking up um, Lamictal and Geodon combinations in high dosages. And sure enough, uh, in high dosages, it can cause all of these things. So I'm not really too scared about them now. It's really just a quality of life issue at this point. Mainly a shitty quality of life. In a couple of weeks, I'll see my psychiatrist and I'll go, look, we had these things turned up so high because I was in a really nasty mixed episode that's mostly gone. Let's turn these things back down. And I'm hoping that we can turn them down at the, both the same time or maybe one at a time. I'm not sure because I'm not sure which one is causing it. If it's just one or if it's both or if it's the combination feeding off of each other. I don't really know and I'm, I'm too stupid to figure anything out right now. Um, so, yeah, so stupid. I was checking to see that I was recording right now. Um, hopefully that'll get balanced out. Um, the, the only thing I've really been doing is making vids to put these things up and you know you, you know you'd be surprised what people watch and what they don't it's kind of weird anyway thanks for listening I hope your day is going well you know you deserve good things and uh, take care of yourself and if you like something you've seen or heard thanks I appreciate it Alright, y'all take care of each other. I'll talk to you later. Bye.